Welcome to our channel. Today we delve into the shadowy world of organized crime to unveil the stories of 10 notorious female mafia figures. These women didn't just survive in a male-dominated underworld, they thrived, commanding respect, fear, and power. Viewer discretion is advised. At number 10 we have Virginia Hill, the infamous mistress of Bugsy Siegel. Hill was more than just a pretty face, she was a critical link between American and Italian mafias moving money and secrets with ease. Known as the Flamingo, her influence reached deep into the mob's operations, making her a key figure in the underworld. Number nine is Griselda Blanco, also known as the Black Widow. Blanco was one of the most feared figures in the Miami cocaine trade during the 1970s and 80s. Ruthless and violent, she orchestrated hundreds of murders to secure her empire. Blanco's reign was so bloody that she earned the nickname La Madrina, or the Godmother. At number eight, Anna Genovese, the wife of Vito Genovese, one of New York's most notorious mob bosses. Anna was more than just a wife. She played a crucial role in the family's operations. After her divorce, she defied the mafia code by testifying against her husband, exposing secrets that shook the underworld. Coming in at number seven, Maria Licciardi, known as La Madrina. She led the Licciardi clan of the Camorra, a powerful Neapolitan mafia group. Maria was a cunning and strategic leader who managed drug trafficking, extortion, and even made alliances with other mafia families. Her reign marked a new era for women in organized crime. At number six, we have Judy Moran, the matriarch of Melbourne's Moran crime family. Moran was involved in a series of brutal gangland wars that terrorized Australia in the early 2000s. Despite her family members being killed one by one, Judy remained unshaken, continuing her criminal activities until her arrest. At number five, Enadina Arellano Felix, the queen of the Tijuana cartel. After her brother's arrests, Enadina took over and transformed the cartel into a more sophisticated operation, focusing on money laundering and financial strategies. Under her leadership, the cartel continued to thrive, showcasing her intelligence and ruthlessness. Number four is Sandra Avila Beltran, known as the Queen of the Pacific. Beltran was a key figure in the Mexican drug trade, acting as a crucial intermediary between Colombian and Mexican cartels. Her charm and connections made her one of the most powerful women in the drug world until her arrest in 2007. At number three, Maria Leone, the silent boss behind one of Italy's most feared mafia families. Known for her discretion and sharp mind, Leon managed the family's operations after her husband's death. She maintained a low profile, but her influence was undeniable, making her one of the most powerful women in the Italian mafia. Number two is Assunta Maresca, better known as Pupetta. A former beauty queen, Maresca made headlines when she avenged her husband's murder by gunning down the man responsible in broad daylight. Her bold act made her a legend in the underworld symbolizing both beauty and deadly vengeance. And at number one, the most iconic of them all, Pupetta Maresca, known as La Vendicatrice, the Avenger of Naples. Her fearless pursuit of justice, no matter how violent, made her a symbol of power in the criminal underworld. Pupetta's story is one of passion, crime, and unyielding strength. These women, each with their own stories of power, betrayal, and survival, left a permanent mark on the world of organized crime. They defied the odds and rewrote the rules, becoming legends in a world dominated by men. If you found this video captivating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the dark corners of history.